what is cathode ray tube? The cathode ray tube CRT is the heart of the cathode ray oscilloscope which is called CRO. CRT provides the visual display of the input signal waveform. A cathode K containing an oxide coating is heated indirectly by a filament which results in the release of electrons from the cathode surface. A control grid G provides control of the number of electrons passing through the aperture in the tube. The number of electrons to be emitted to the tube is controlled by the voltage of the con control grid. Now let's observe the diagram. The basic construction of a CRT. It has pins, tube base, cathode K, pre-accelerating anode A1, accelerating anode A3, horizontal deflection plates H, phosphorus screen, beam of electrons, aquadac coating, evacuated glass envelope, vertical deflection plates V, focusing anode A2, control grid G and filament. After the electrons pass through the control grid, they are focused into a tight beam and accelerated to a higher velocity by the focusing and accelerating anodes. The high velocity well defined electron beam then passes through the two sets of deflection plates. The first set of plates is oriented to deflect the electron beam vertically up or down. The direction of vertical deflection is determined by the voltage polarity applied to the deflection plates. The amount of deflection is set by the magnitude of the applied voltage. The beam is also deflected horizontally left to right by a voltage applied to the horizontal deflecting plates. The deflected beam is further accelerated by very high voltages applied to the tube with the beam finally striking a phosphorescent material on the inside face of the tube. This screen glows when struck by the high-speed electrons, thus light is emitted on the other side of the glass screen. The CRT is a self-contained unit with LEDs brought out through a base to pins. Various types of CRTs are available in a variety of sizes with different phosphorus screens and deflection electrodes. CRTs find many applications in CRO, TV, radar indicators and so on of which CRT for CRO is considered in this section. In a CRO, the electron beam is deflected horizontally by a sweep voltage and vertically by the voltage to be measured. While the electron beam is moved across the face of the CRT by the horizontal sweep signal, the input signal deflects the beam vertically, resulting in a display of the input signal waveform. One sweep of the beam across the face of the tube followed by a blank period during which the beam is turned off while returning to the starting point across the tube face constitutes one sweep of the beam. The display on screen will be steady when the same image is swept across the tube in each sweep. This requires synchronization starting the sweep at the same point in a repetitive wave form cycle. If the signal is properly synchronized, the display will be stationary. If the synchronization is not proper, the image will drift in horizontal direction. Below figure shows a basic block diagram of a CRO. To achieve a noticeable deflection on the screen of the CRO, the measured voltage which is of the order of millivolts to tens of volts must be increased to order of hundreds of volts for proper operation of the CRO. Amplifiers are adopted for this purpose in both vertical and horizontal deflection systems. To adjust the amplitude of the signal for comfortable display measurements on the screen, the input is subjected to variable attenuations. A sawtooth waveform is impressed across the horizontal deflection plates. This voltage is used to sweep the beam across the screen. Thus, it is also known as sweep voltage. The electrons are deflected with time in the horizontal directions for a time t. Then the beam returns to its starting point on the screen very quickly as the sawtooth voltage rapidly falls to its initial value at the end of each period. If the sinusoidal voltage is impressed across the vertical deflection plates, 
and no sweep is applied to horizontal deflection plates, the display on the screen would be a vertical straight line. Now, when the sweep voltage is applied to horizontal deflection plates, the electron beam sweeps the electron beam across the screen in time and the full sinusoidal voltage is displayed on the CRT screen. The display would be stationary only when the sweep and input signals are properly synchronized. This is achieved when the time period T of the sweep be equal to or is multiple times of the time period T. Thus, it is required to adjust the sweep period of the SAR tooth waveform to synchronize with the applied input signal time period. The input signal can be any waveform. Thus, when a non-repeating arbitrary waveform is to be displayed on the screen, the transients are taken as the reference and the sweep would start with the start of the transients. The sensitivity is greatly increased by means of amplifiers between the input signal and the deflection plates. The electron gun is a complicated structure which allows for accelerating the electrons through a large potential for varying the intensity of the beam and for focusing the electrons into a tiny spot. Controls are provided for positioning the beam as desired on the screen. That's a whole about cathode ray tube.